Hey everyone, this is Brandon Krieger. Uh, today's social media, the truth. I want to talk about how do I maintain my social media marketing? Uh, question I get asked time and time again, I mean, all of us are busy with our businesses, our jobs, our careers, building up what we want to do, but we're trying to market online using social media marketing. And the hardest thing I find is trying to balance that. Like, how do you maintain it? How do you stay on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, you know, Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube, YouTube if I said Google Plus, I mean, the list goes on and on and on of the social sites that are out there. How do you stay on top of those? How do you stay on top of these social sites and be able to maintain them so that you're not spending like eight hours of your day uh, managing your social media marketing? And that's one of the, the biggest challenges I find with people that are new right, and trying to build and really trying to build their business is they're like, okay, what do I do? Like, how do I spend my time? How do I manage it so I can work with my clients, service my, you know, provide customer service and, and respond to people on top of being on these websites and responding, giving good content, giving inf- good information. Now, here's an example. Just to give you guys an example of what you might be able to do, and again, each strategy is different depending on the business. You have guys in magazines and stuff that post you know, daily. You have entrepreneurs and business people that are kind of brick and mortar that might post you know, weekly. But each of the social sites that you use, and I, I mean, slowly go through the process. Don't jump on all of them at once. If you're starting to learn Go to the one that you feel most comfortable. So if it's at Facebook, if it's LinkedIn, if it's Twitter, spend your time on there. And what I mean by spending your time is eight o'clock in the morning, go on, you know, check your messages, check you know, some information, check if anyone's commented on any of your previous posts so you can comment back. Then get off. Get off the site. Don't stay on it for that long. We have work to do. All right. Go back on at 12 o'clock. All right? And then go back on at three. Right. Now, if you have a social media marketing team, you're a larger corporation, someone that can sit there all day and maintain and respond and provide customer service, that's great. But for the smaller to starting up companies where you're looking at you know, just using the social media marketing, you might want to use this strategy because, again, like myself, I mean, I'm a social media marketing consultant. I'm on the sites you know, frequently, but I have to work with my clients. I have to help them. So my time is spent, I mean, I have uh, my iPhone, which I have here. I have my iPhone, so any tweets, posts, LinkedIn, whatever comes to my phone. But technically, all I'm really checking it is if something's very urgent, something you know, needs to be addressed, I'll respond right away. But other than that, I'll check it at 8 o'clock, I'll check it at 12, and I'll check it at 3. And I'll do that on a regular basis, Monday to Friday. And on the weekends, I'll, I'll just see how things are going, but I won't really kind of engage that much because weekends are for us to enjoy and to spend time with our family and friends. So when you're looking at your social media marketing campaign, start when you're a local to small business, start slow. All right, start from eight to you know eight o'clock in the morning or nine o'clock, whenever you feel most comfortable, then again at 12 and then again at three. Just treat it like email. And that's how it's gonna be easy to maintain it because again, the, the challenge is, is this, is that when we're starting out our business and we're starting to build, what we have to do is we have to manage our time from being online and marketing to dealing with, you know, to working with our clients and to to helping build our business. So that's my advice to you guys. And I know it might go against the grain of what you're reading online and what you're seeing. But again, you got to balance that out, right? You know, how much time you're spending online versus building your business and working with your clients that you're currently working with. And it has to be a balance of, you know, the marketing efforts. Think of, for example, print. If you print something out and you mail it, you're not constantly checking on it, you know, every every few minutes. Social media marketing has given us that impression that we need to do that, but as you grow into your business model and you get more successful, you might hire someone on that can stay online and manage your social sites like that. But as you're growing as a small business or small entrepreneur, it's good to have that kind of schedule that you're checking on a frequent basis, but not always online because you have work to do, just like I do, just like anyone else does. So guys, I'd like to thank you for the watching this video. Don't forget to watch the Uh, Don't forget to subscribe, as well as don't forget to watch the last video just in case you've missed it.